Hey guys, this is Ron from Super 8 to Video. This is part three of five of my Wolverine Movie Maker review on YouTube. Both the snapshot on the left and the snapshot on the right are from the Wolverine. The one on the left is a full frame shot. The one on the right is the snapshot from part two of five of this review series. Remember how Legacy Digital's version had a full frame like the snapshot on the left? now has? If you missed part two of five, look at how only the feet are showing in the picture on the right. I'll now explain why it did not have a full frame like the picture on the left in the first place. What was place. going on with that um, smaller frame and why it happens? Uh, here's the sprocket that actually moves the film through. This is the top of one frame beginning to show up. The next frame beginning to show up down there. Um, keep in mind one of these reels, it's a five inch reel, is four of these reels spliced together. So what's happening is, is as I'm adjusting this frame rate, or not rate, but the frame size, I start zooming in. I've already centered it. It could be uh, moved up and down. As a matter of fact, I've got to, the bottom has to be changed a little bit. So I'm going to go change that. We're going to lower it a little bit. Now it's centered. So I go back to this zoom. Start zooming in. So right now you have everything perfect. And that will work really good with one of these 3 inch reels. But with one of these 5 inch reels, it's four of these run together. In other words, spliced all together. So what will happen is, is you'll start copying through one of these. And remember, this takes two hours. And then after the first reel goes through, the next reel comes in. And then what will start happening is, is you'll all of a sudden end up with either the bottom or the top showing in. Like I'm showing it here, or if you notice, now you can see up here at the top. And that's what you'll actually start copying. So my solution to it is, is I just zoom in. Meaning, I do give up some of the frame rate or the frame size, but I just go there and zoom in. And as you'll see, that one time I had him zoomed in all the way to about his feet. And that's my solution to it, rather than having to try to run this through three or four times just to get it um, done correctly. So I thought I'd explain that. This video is from 1984. The video on the left is Legacy Digitals with no changes or what I call its default setting. The video on the right is the Wolverine Movie Maker's version on its default setting of medium contrast and light set to zero. If you'll notice, the eye gets pulled to the Wolverine side when the burgundy dress gets in the brighter lighting. It's what I call an optical illusion because you are so focused on the dress you do not notice the weaker quality of its transfer. Now that we have a still frame you can see the difference. The 1080p combined with very little compression gives a much smoother and softer picture. As you can see the Wolverine brightens the scene too much. Its picture does not look nearly as smooth or detailed on the edges. However, when in motion and the light strikes the dress, the mind doesn't even notice. This lesser quality is mostly caused by the digital transfer and what's called compression. Compression makes the file size of the movie smaller. I believe this compression issue is a bigger factor than 720p versus 1080p. I have found that the 3 minute rolls from the Wolverine are about 200 megabytes and the legacy ones are about 2 to 4 gigabytes. Here is a property screenshot of an identical film. If you'll notice, the Wolverine side is only 173 megabytes, where the legacy digital side is 3.36 gigabytes. Apparently, the Wolverine movie makers gave up some quality for convenience. For instance, if you had two of these three minute films and they each took 3.36 gigabytes, you could not fit both of them on a standard DVD because it only holds 5.9 gigabytes. 
Keep in mind Legacy Digital can copy a standard definition file as well as this high definition file and the quality is almost as sharp as these larger files. Apparently keeping the files small was one of the goals of the Wolverine Movie Maker. Now I'm going to show you another snapshot. If you notice the Wolverine side is a square where the Legacy Digital video is a rectangle. Legacy Digitals is correct because Super 8 film is 8 millimeters wide and 6 millimeters tall. Remember when I was zooming in earlier? The zoom apparently zooms in like a square. It needs to zoom in a little bit less on the sides to keep the 4 by 3 ratio that Super 8 has. So basically Wolverine's zoom gave us a 7 millimeter by 7 millimeter square on this shot. If you'll notice, even though Legacy Digital zooms in a little more, look at the top and bottom of the frame to see what I mean, it still kept the 4 by 3 ratio. Now I'm going to talk about screen size, meaning what size of computer monitor or TV you are watching these films on, because this can make a huge difference, and I stress that, a huge difference. Let's just make up a fictional character called Mikey. Mikey likes to watch these reviews on an 8x6 tablet. He sees my reviews and can hardly tell any difference between the legacy digital side and the Wolverine side. Thinking to himself, I have a monitor at home that is 64 inches wide. He thinks, you know what? That is only 8 times as big as my little tablet. Because 8 divides into 64 8 times, he reasons, so even if this compression issue is 10 times as bad as what I am now seeing, and not 8 times, it's no big deal to me. In part 4 of 5 of this series, I'm going to show you what really happens to Mikey. But here is a teaser. This is a snapshot of the Wolverine side, no longer side by side, but shown at full screen size. To see Mikey's surprise, tune in to part 4 of 5. Say hey guys, it's March 1st, 2017, and I'm just going to show you how to get to my website in case you want to see the other uh, videos in this series. Um, I have the first three up, and I'm going to show you how you get there. You're going to see a screen just like this in a minute, and if you want to get the 10% off from Legacy Digital, um, I do get a small referral free from them, so I'm up front about that. But uh, you do get 10% off their transfer fees if you decide to go with them instead of buying yourself a Wolverine. But now I'm going to show you how you get to the, uh, the website. Up here in the corner, you'll see every so often a white thing comes up. And even if it doesn't, if you just mouse up there, click on this. Any of these, you can click on any of them. It takes you to my web page. You can see it's loading here on a new thing. Just scroll down just a little bit. And now you'll see... Part 1 of 5, 2 of 5, 3 of 5. Down here if you want to get your mittens on a uh, Wolverine. Over here if you want more information on Legacy Digital. This is coming soon, coming soon. Like I say, this is March 1st, 2017. Down here is a 10% off to, uh, coupon. You don't have to uh, print that out. If you just call them with their phone number and tell them you want code 888, you'll get 10% off uh, the Legacy Digital uh, transfer. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how you get to the website. That's it. This is that screen I was talking about a minute ago. It may look frozen, but it isn't. You may now go to my website by mousing on anything that comes up white. Or go to the corner with your mouse and the link will come up. You can also call Legacy Digital and ask for code 888 to get the 10% discount. Remember, their rates are already competitive before the 10% off, so now you'll be able to get an outstanding deal. They have transferred films from as far away as Korea, so don't think you need to live nearby to have them transfer your films. If you want to go to their home page, click on the white link as mentioned, and you will see my other videos in this series, and a link to Legacy Digital's home page. If you want more information on the Wolverine, there is a link on the same web page that will take you to the Wolverine page on Amazon where you can read other people's opinions. This screen runs for three minutes to let you get pen and paper and write Legacy Digital's phone number down, or if you want to go to my website and see other videos in this series. 
I'll be quiet now and let you decide. Thanks for tuning in. Signing out, Ron from Super 8 to Video.